This is by far the worst thing that you can do when gripping the golf club. Now listen to me. I know if you've been hitting slices, you've been hitting those weak shots, you've been told to get that grip really strong, but if you do it the wrong way, it can actually make you worse. And I've seen this, I've dealt with this on the lesson tee. It's an easy fix, but if you get it wrong, poh, leak power, you'll hit it further right, you just won't hit the shots you know you can. So we're answering this question today here on the channel because we are powered by you and my aim is to help you play your best golf. So do subscribe and turn on the bell to never miss any of our free uploads. Now I can 100% guarantee if you're a slicer of the golf ball, you have gone down that route of changing your grip. And I bet it has felt really, really odd. And okay, if you first change it, it should feel odd for a short period of time. But if it's still feeling odd, this is where you're going wrong. Now, you're sort of half right. We do want to get that grip stronger. But where I see people go wrong, they try and get their hand over by moving the elbow around and sort of throwing this arm out like this. And this is what I've seen. Now, actually, you look down, you go, yeah, you know what, Alex? My grip's really strong here but look how that has compromised my elbow. Now, when you get it like this, it feels a little bit awkward. You can't set the club on the way back and you just won't find the face. Well, at all really, in my opinion. So really think about this. We can't have it working this way. So let me talk you through a little three stage, simple, simple solution that you can do with your irons or with your driver so come on, I reckon this is one that you can just do. We're, I mean, we're at the 12th here at Motcham Hall. I reckon this is something that you can save this video, take with you, and just try and emulate out on the golf course straight away. And if you think your grip's right, well, just use this as a little checklist. The first thing that I would say is, how important is the grip? What is the role of the grip? Well, the role of the grip is to help you control the club face. So as you're coming into impact here, your club face is more likely to be square and less likely to be all the way over there. So the solution, follow this really, really simple guide. I'm just gonna rest my golf club, whatever one you decide to choose, just like this in front of me, okay? I'm gonna turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I want you to sort of think about this. Now, if you've got door handles at home, they might have been the old fashioned ones where you had to twist them, okay? You wouldn't move your whole arm to twist the door open, would you? You wouldn't go like that. It wouldn't feel comfortable and also you wouldn't open the door very quickly. So how I would get this feeling is, think about with your glove hand, we're gonna try and turn the doorknob clockwise. And if you struggle to get that, look where, I'm gonna, just gonna pinch, my elbow's there, I'm just gonna pinch just below it, start with my palm in the air and just get the feeling of doing this. And maybe just do it for a few reps, just to get the feeling of it coming more from the wrist to get the hand over, not from the elbow going high, okay? So again, rest the golf club, pinch it in, clockwise turn the door, and then put your hand on. Now look at this form of my arm, okay? I've got my grip, I've got my arm in. Now if we put the other one on the screen before, side by side to this, you can see one looks a lot more comfortable than the other. I'll let you decide which one that is, but just look at the difference in that. I can then place my right hand on, and I've got full working ability of how I will do that. Okay, so let's hit one away here, and I'll just remind you of some pitfalls you still gotta avoid. <laughs> if it does that with driver, I can't wait to show you what it does with my irons too. Now we're 160 yards away from the 12th. What club would you be using? Because I reckon if you get this right grip, look at me hit, like elbow high, it's really hard to create speed. Elbow in correctly, opening the door as we've said, look how much more speed I can create. So I reckon you can go at least one club shorter, whether I go from six to seven or seven to eight. I've gone seven here, it's cold. Okay, now reminder here, just remember to subscribe to the channel and as long as you are subscribed and turn on the bell, I will pick out your questions. I know there are loads of questions, but I'll do my best to help you improve your golf. So nice and simple, if I was in the golf course, I would just do it like this. No one's looking, my playing partners are playing, open the door, left hand on, I'm ready to go. All I've got to do now is move into the shot to see this one fly, just like that driver did. That is straight down. Did you hear the noise on that as well? Oh, I will take that all day.
Thank you so much for watching. And as I say, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.